Yahoo YouTube, I am Super Genki, and in today's video, we're going to talk about architecture. The word method comes from two Greek words, meta, in pursuit of, or quest of, and hoods, which is a system or way of doing things. In 1800, when it was first recorded in the English language, methodology meant the branch of knowledge that deals with method, generally, or with the methods of a particular discipline or field of study. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, ever since I graduated college, I've been thinking a lot about my college experience. And I think when we're in college, we usually only take courses that are relevant to our majors. But you'd be surprised. American college is a lot more open to exploration than the rest of the world. I have seen how college works in both Europe and Asia. More often than not, students have to pick their equivalent of a major in high school. Not even that, the courses that they're even allowed to take have to be relevant to the majors they choose in high school. This is why I believe we're required to take these general education courses. You can argue about the relevance of these classes. I'm still trying to figure out a way to use pre-calculus in my everyday life. But the fundamental value of these courses is to give your brain time to develop while exploring different fields. I have wandered into the linguistics department on several different occasions as a college student and thought to myself, wow, language, this is so cool. I want to learn more about this. As any college student would tend to say as soon as their interest is peaked. However, what I have found is that intellectual curiosity is not well maintained unless the interest is culturally relevant to the individual. Think about the words you use the most. The more you use them, I bet the better understanding you have of their meaning, or at least the better understanding you think you do. Many of the ideas floating around in the human mind are captured in loosely defined concepts to construct arguments based on social proof. Social proof being cultural relevance. Despite popular opinion, I feel that it is our responsibility, not college's responsibility, to go beyond the realm of superficiality and dive a little deeper into the evidence. I think this is what it means to be educated. Which takes me back to today's word, methodology. When I was writing the script for this video initially, I had to find these terms to solidify their meanings in my mind. Because I had not used them in months. They were not culturally relevant in many of the conversations I've had here in Spain. A loosely defined concept is kind of like a blueprint. And without a basic understanding of architecture, it becomes very hard to remember to start with the foundation. The blueprint only becomes more clear the more you understand the layout. And that's why you want to study architecture in college. Being an architect of the mind is having the blueprint, a concrete foundation, and a perseverance to play the long game. To be the architect of our own minds, I believe we need to become more methodical in our planning because life is filled with endless possibilities and only a few of them ever make it into our headspace. The ones that stay are the ones that we build. So why not start studying architecture today? That's the video for today, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit that like button. And most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one, YouTube. Bye-bye.